Sorry about that. Had a disconnection. It takes a little longer to recover from this when I'm streaming. Just because I have to uh, release the IPs, flush the DNS, and then reconnect. <laughs> do all that to do the command prompt, otherwise it takes like 30 minutes. So I don't think this is working right now. Been a good match so far. Pretty close and everything. Oh, never mind. We're up. We're up. I just had a bad page. So it's tied, and this looks like a repeat of the last round. Same tactics. Yeah, GK's infantry is pretty damn solid, so... And they do have some good infantry players. GK's position is much better here out. than Bellion's. Bellion gets stuck back in that corner, and then they're... They're out of the picture for most of the flag spawn. So it's a good place to hold defensively, but it's horrible when that, that flag pops out. So Usually it's best to do a push, a surprise okay, push bailing, from one of those sides. Bailing coming around. And here it comes. Looks like there's no yeah, crossfire from crossbows. That's, that's great for battle. Yeah, plus they have yeah, horses, so that's going to help a lot. Yeah, I don't know why they would have uh, used how they would use cab and gingerbread. Yeah, you see there, Angus getting three kills in a row. Yeah, that's as cab. Jesus, good kill by D man. See, it's like you're not gonna get that cab support from <laughs> in uh, the EU. It's just that pushing out really helped him. Yeah, that was a great push from Billion. And again, GK didn't have any uh, crossfire with crossbows at all, so it was easy for I mean, Bellion to GK push out and not have just, to watch uh, their back. GK could have just uh, bunched up and pushed one of the sides. I mean, they're pretty split up, so... I mean, I don't even think it needs to be that uh, complicated to set up like a crossfire or anything. They could have just charged one side and took out the weak side. Interesting push to the center by Bellion. I don't know if GK knows that all the Bellions are right around that corner either. They're pushing out oh, right I think now. they do now. They know now. I'm not sure that's the best idea ever. I'm curious if Bellion has anybody coming up the other side. Yes. No, that's gonna have Bellion. This is... Not sure who has the advantage here. It's just a big fight. Hero. Oh. It's staying one for one. Pretty even still. Oh, there we go. He's taking a lead. Yeah, that's pretty even. They could take that any I think they there. may ditch the crossbows. Yeah, yeah well, swap it's now. Switch. It's a switch now. I'm surprised GK didn't take any uh, bump cavalry. That kind of did they have any, or that I wasn't seeing, or uh, they did have one, Vendiger. Oh, okay. I thought he would have had a shiny horse then.
GK has one archer up top. He took the other one with him. Okay, once again, he's spread out too far from the lane. Chicago was way too far away to be any help. That's not gonna help. Hey, Chewie's a beast. <laughs> Chewie might be a beast. Let's see. Nope. So that I believe that's the match. Away all chance. Um, oh, okay. I, I think yeah. that's the match right there. It's because uh, GK could still tie this map, but uh, well, all if they tie this now. map, then they'll still lose the uh, the match. Because Bellion was one point up in the last match, so that's enough to uh, bring him the win right now. They may play it out anyway. It's been a relatively short night so far. I think it would be good for them to try to tie the map, though, because that'll prevent um, the other team from getting another point in the uh, in the game. Yeah. So if they do play out this map and they do end up tying it, then like GK was definitely one of the top uh, one of the top teams before, so they prevent God from catching up. It's like a very even, very even infantry battle here. <laughs> Way too much going on to follow. GK. GK getting Taking a lot of good out kills. the Valiant. It's funny, wow. as soon as you see that like second kill, it just goes up to like five kills. <laughs> that was a snowball. Yeah, I think it's just because you start getting these like situations where it's no longer a one on one. Like when it starts out, your man right. is usually just go into a one on one, but then as soon as somebody dies. You get a two on one, and then they win that, and then it just goes crazy from there. So it's always the beginning that's really gonna pretty much decide it, in my opinion. You need to have that good start. And if you get killed early in a game, like, I think in one of the other rounds, uh, someone got killed early by like a cav or a arrow or something, that always screws your team over. Yeah. It's interesting to see Bellion pushing up into that well-fortified position. I think that's the reason that they ended up ended up getting hurt so bad last round, and that might happen again right now. Yeah, that's because th there isn't a reason for Bellion to push. They're, they're going to get it again. Mm -hmm. Bellion is, isn't the team that needs to be pushing. They need to sit back and wait for the flags to spawn. And well, they might have it still. GK that needs to make that move. It's 4 for 3, so... Or yeah, that CK two. really hurt GK. Yeah, they got lost that. It's the second time it's been really yep. bad, but hopefully the death they, is... Yep, good job They almost GK. came back from that. Mm -hmm. They lost a lot in the beginning, and then they tied it back up. Well, there's one round to go. So. Yeah, one more round to tie up. GK is following the same strategy. Looks like Vendiger got stuck behind the bench. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> and Bellion looks like they're holding back this time, which is a good idea. Take a look at the uh, GK armor situation. Yeah, definitely seeing a lot of mail. It's going to help them a lot in these melee battles.
And helmets. Always helpful. See, the thing is, I feel like if they're using a uh, bump cavalry, they're not going to want to go into the uh, in the gingerbread there. I agree. I, I mean, I, I don't think they would want to push regardless. And the yeah, last two yeah. times I've tried, it hasn't worked, and they still look antsy like they want to push up there, and they're trying to figure out when they should do it. It's tempting. It always is. But And you look at that, they have uh, one, two, three spears at least. I'm not sure if uh, Balian still has their cav. Is it's just when I play cav, it just gets scary when you see uh, that many spears on a team. No, nah, I guess I don't have the cav anymore. GK is being really patient. They're not. Looking like they're going anywhere yet. They look content to be for the flag. See, uh, it'll be interesting to see how GK tries to get after the flag, though. Yeah, I agree. Because that's going to make a break them right there. Because if, uh, if Balian charges them at the right time while they're trying to get to it, then that's going to be really bad news. Looks like D-Man's trying to lure somebody out. Yeah, I don't think Balians are going to take that, though. He's way too far over for them to take that bait. Looks like GK is spreading out a little bit more. They have two down on the left side of Gingerbread. Uh, well, their left side. Oh, they're moving everybody over. Yeah, they're Stands moving. Left. And there's one guy trying to kick and see if they'll attack. <laughs> and that taunt kick. Interesting, because now Balian is out in the corner and GK has map control. Yeah, it's interesting how much of, like, just like a 10-foot movement. This is in Balian's favor. Oh, that's about the worst possible place. Although... Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not no, so that's sure. basically I think the worst possible space. If they, if they keep together, GK is really good at keeping forward. together his infantry. I think they've got a they've got a good shot here. They need to get on that flag, though. They need to fight on the flag. I think they've got a Herald couple going actually, around behind. That's going to be really good for them. I think spread out too far yeah. now. Yeah, that's the problem with splitting it up and getting people behind to go to the flag. They're not even on the flag. I don't know, that's, that's pretty, the pretty even. It's gonna come down to who wins melee fights. Simple as that. As you case, seems to be pulling this one out pretty well too. Even. Two oh, versus two. Tied out. Nice, gets the hammer guy. Pulling out the speed by no means uh, over. I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, nice job. Oh, that was, that was a really good spear. And the map is tied. Good. That means that God only gets one point. And they're still a little behind. Still, that was an excellent play on the uh, was. flags there. It was. GK definitely came back from that. And it's too bad that they didn't have a chance to win. But at the same time, like, man, when we get into three maps, with this format, it just drags the game out. GK really has... They're going to be really good on uh, closed maps. Oh, got that infantry. Yeah, they've, they've been showing good skill all around today. And, and actually, through the, whole, through the whole tournament, they've been doing really well. I mean, they're only getting better. I see them training in their server, doors locked all the time, so... And that, that sort of thing, you don't really see from any other clans in native anymore. It's that level yeah. of commitment to training and, and improvement. 
So yep, but I gotta step see, things uh, up. More GK or a uh, goodness in the future. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna cut this off. Thanks, Snoop and Bale. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you later. Yep.